Hey guys, it's uh, John V3IPS here. Um, I was digging through my box of stuff and uh, I've got a bunch of videos that will go through what's John got in his uh, box of tricks and tips and stuff for QRP operators, probably even HRO operators. And uh, finally couldn't find my uh, Atlanticon uh, kit build. So Atlanticon, East Coast QRP convention, they meet in the, uh, they meet every year. It's been going on for quite a while. Um, was part of the New Jersey QRP Club, the American QRP Club, the Maine QRP Club. Can't remember exactly who was the host uh, club for it. I think all three guys got involved or the two clubs were involved in it. But it was a great time. And the build was um, a pick-based um, QRP uh, code sender and name badge. And uh, it was something that everybody put together, and um, I was number 22 in the registration. And there's also a connector on the back here to uh, put paddles in it. It's, uh, it was published in the, uh, I believe, in the QRP Homebrewer magazine. would have the information on it, but I do have the flyer for it as well. It can also be reprogrammed, but obviously um, that was in 2002. Uh, it was a long time ago, 14 years ago. And I always remember it's a great time of a camaraderie and stuff. So there you go. You can uh, you have an audible and uh, LED based sender, and like I said, you can hook up paddles to it. And uh, it was uh, definitely uh, a project out of that. Now, as you guys know, Dayton four days in May. There's always a project build. Uh, Four State QRP does the same thing. There's Atlanticon, there's ChiliCon, Pacificon. There's all kinds of events all around the country uh, for different QRP meetups and uh, mini conventions and stuff like that where QRP operators uh, converse to have fun. Um, and I think uh, the boys out in the Bay Area there, um, Baynet, Amateur Radio Club there too, they also do event kind of tied in with a Maker Fair, so you may want to go Google that and go check them out on their website. 73 is good DX.